Um, a necessary piece of software that ships with the IP12 and IP16 is the IP1216 config tool. This is a simple Windows-based program that you load onto your laptop or your server at the, uh, at the radio station. And what you're going to do is you're going to install this on your PC, and then you're going to point it to the IP address of the console. And this will allow us to make changes to the consoles for like mutes and tallies, set up some record buses, configure all our mix minuses, and then any other additional special things that's going to fit you or your operators for your specific operation. So let's go and launch the IP16. I'll show you how easy it is to install. Pretty much a standard installation like any other Windows device. Um, it self launches. And what we'll do here is uh, we're just basically going to agree to everything. We're going to sign our life away and go get install. Uh, the setup tool is going to conveniently uh, place all the files we need in the right directories and folders. All right, so we've completed the installation of the IP console config. Um, took about 15 or 20 seconds. Now you launch the application by double clicking on it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add our console. So by clicking add, um, we're going to give it a name. We'll just say J. And then we're going to type in the IP address. And it's 192.168.87.201. This is the default IP address that every IP12 and every IP16 ships with. Now, <clears throat> once we've, we've added this console, we select it, we want to take it online. It automatically will fill in the blade ID that it's connected to, blade number one, and its IP address. At this point, you'll also see down here in the right-hand side that we're connected. As we put multiple IP12 or 16s on the same network, it's going to be critical that we add each device here, and each device has its own unique IP address. This will avoid any IP conflicts we have on our network. So if we've got the first IP12 set up here, you'll see on the side, this is where we do things like our mutes and tallies. We'll do monitor config for headphone and queue, studio defeat. We've got the programmable buttons here, and of course, source visibilities. Once you start growing these IP systems, you're going to have hundreds, if not thousands, of possible sources that you can put on any console channel or route to any destination. So what the visibility tab allows us to do is set up each fader individually, only seeing the specific sources that we want the operator to see. Stand by next, and we're going to get into the navigator program.